Welcome everyone to another video. Today we are testing Sophos antivirus and this does include the premium trial. This is the free version we're using but it does have a 30 day free trial and so we're going to go ahead and test that premium service and we do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware, 130 samples in total and we're going to use these samples to test Sophos to see how well it does or does not as far as protecting us against these threats. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment, I will enable the real-time protection here in Sophos and we'll let it sit for just a few moments just to see if it can detect anything on its own, after which we will run a full system scan. And then if there's any samples remaining, we will try to execute them and see if Sophos can stop them. Now at this point, I've enabled all of the protection. Again, please be aware because we are testing the premium version, all of the premium protections are turned on as well. And so at this point, we'll go ahead and let it sit for just a few moments to see if it can detect anything on its own. It's been several minutes and I haven't noticed anything pop up. Let's double check our samples folder and it still lists 130. Looks like everything is still here. So at this point, let's go ahead and run a scan. And after I opened up the folder, it looks like it's starting to detect multiple items here, but we're going to go ahead and let the scan run regardless. So we will be back here in just a moment with the results. The scan has completed and it found 103 threats. And we can see the full list of results here as well as the actions taken. And so at this point, let's just double check our samples folder. And we can see that we do have some remaining items. Now one thing I should note is we started with 130 samples and we have four remaining samples here in the folder. And so if you do the math, it doesn't quite add up. One thing I should note is Sophos was popping up the moment I opened up the samples folder and so it appears that it removed several of them on its own. So at this point we're going to go ahead and try to execute the remaining samples. And then at this point we're going to go ahead and restart the computer and run some second opinion scans. After a computer restart I ran a scan with Malwarebytes which came back positive with two results so we'll go ahead and quarantine those. After another computer restart, I ran a scan with MZSoft, which came back clean with zero results detected. Now, one thing I should quickly note is that two samples were not detected by Sophos, Malwarebytes, or MZSoft, so these samples are fairly recent, but they also may just be bad samples, so please be aware of that. And just a quick recap, we started with 130 samples in total, most of which were removed when we did a system scan. Several were also moved by Sophos itself when we opened up the samples folder. There was just a delay there. Please keep in mind that this is just one type of test. There are many, many different other types of tests, so Sophos very well may perform differently in other types of tests. Regardless, you can take these results and draw your own conclusions, but that's everything for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.